Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Order and Chaos. Uh, our last episode, we went through what this cave over here? Yeah, the uh, what's it called? Dragon Cave or something like that. The Chaos Catacombs. That's what they're called. Uh, we went through there, battled some really difficult trainers, dealt with a ton of uh, trainers that had Destiny Bond. Which got really frustrating. Uh, but we did get through that. Uh, now, I actually do, did quite a bit of stuff off screen. Check it out. Uh, yeah, I've been doing some training. Other than Jaws, everyone has been one up. Uh, everyone's, everyone's levels have one up. Uh, so I got Cinder to 55, Medusa, and Xenomorph to 57. Uh, Kata 59 and Luna to 56. Uh, now actually, um, the reason why I didn't grind Jaws is his stats are actually probably still one of the best on the team, even though he's 51. As you can see, Medusa's really gotten powerful. Um, Ka's gotten really strong. Yeah, see, Jaws is still like one of my best even at 51 so uh, and actually the grind was getting really frustrating um, these three were pretty easy to grind Luna and Cinder were just an absolute hassle to train up uh, especially Luna Luna would get constantly one shot by the uh, the impossum that that little uh, that little possum Pokemon yeah, both Cinder and Luna would get one shot by it because it would have Crunch and it would have Thunder. So it it was getting so annoying. Um, but I did do a lot off screen. Other than that, I got um, more potions and I got more Pokeballs. As you can see, I got more Ultra Balls. I got 12 Great Balls and 19 Ultra Balls. I hope that's enough to actually catch this legendary in here, which uh, we did see a little bit in, in the uh, last episode. And today we are actually going to be uh, hopefully fighting it. And I'm actually looking forward to it. Now you're actually uh, wondering, whoa, late upload. Yeah, I've been kind of caught up with other things. Like, yeah, I almost forgot to upload. So I'm going to do this and a... Uh, Final Fantasy video, so this is gonna be a long night and the reason why well To actually prepare for the long night. I've actually brought myself a soda right here. Let me just open it up There we go. It is actually what is this like a sugar-free spite sprite or something. Yeah It's pretty good Okay <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Something fizzy. It's going to wake me up anyways. Which is good because I'm going to be up for like another like two hours. It is 9.52 p.m. right now. Alright, so it's like down here, and also because our Pokemon are so high level now, uh, we don't have to deal with wild Pokemon anymore down here, because they're all low 50s. Can we? Oh gosh. Can we grab that Pokeball? Um, Doesn't look like it. Can I go up there? What is this? Yeah, I can go up here. Okay, I must have skipped this. Yeah, these are trainers I haven't fought yet. Okay, we'll fight these guys really quick. You must save it, Mendo. Oh, great. This thing again. It's a good thing I'm a lot stronger now, so... Destiny Bond. Perfectly fine. 
We'll use fly. Another one of those. Okay, you know what? Let's send out Jaws. I think it's Ghost, to be honest. Claw I think it's Ghost. If it is, then Crunch should be sh uh, super effective. Shopa. Not super, it's Shopa. Okay, let's see. Yep, I figured. But also because Jaws takes forever to level up. What? Alright. Uh, where is... The, there they are. Oh, yeah. I also taught uh, Medusa Waterfall off screen, as you can see. Because we, we actually can use it. So, and you know that one cave... Uh, ooh, waking, that's good. Um, you know that one cave near the beginning of the game where we fought that really difficult fisherman at the very start of the game, first episode? That cave? We can go there now. I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to that. Once we actually are able to use fly, I'm gonna go over there. Ghost, no qua. Or look, who would have guessed? Constant spamming of one move right here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Where's the ghost? Oh uh, no, other than you were actually using a ghost type Pokemon, but okay. Whatever. Okay, so I missed out on just a little bit of experience. That's fine. Well, we got it now, so there you go. Go over here really quick and have our repel wear off. Thanks. Oh yeah, another reason why I didn't grind uh, Jaws is he's weak to like literally everything in that area. They had a grind. Yeah, he, he was literally weak to everything. Oh my gosh, this thing looks sick. Um, yeah, he was like weak to everything. Which made him so difficult to grind. Same thing with uh, with Cinder. Cinder was weak to Impossum. Uh, he was weak to that flying type, uh, Hanzula. Yeah, he was weak to like two or three Pokemon. It was really getting annoying. But here we go. Let's see what we can do here. I have no clue what type this thing is. So, uh, I'll probably just send out our strongest Pokemon, maybe. It's possibly a ground, uh, not ground type, it's I, I would guess it would be dragon. Let's just go with Cinder. Dark, I will have, I will only fight you if you have a smaller party. A smaller party? What? What do you mean? Oh, jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Smaller party, what do you mean, like three Pokemon or something? Ugh, oh, jeez, I have to get out of here now? Oh, because I can't fight him yet. Well, gosh darn it. You should have reminded me. Ugh, oh, that's actually beyond stupid right there. 
I don't know how many Pokemon I need, I need to deposit in order to fight him, though. Dang it. Great, so I need to deposit some Pokemon. All right, great. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I also caught a new Pokemon off screen as well. It was, one of the, it was actually uh, one I actually found in this cave. Yeah, I actually found it in the cave. And it was pretty cool. I found it on my way out. Uh, I will show you it in just a second. Let me just go to the Pokemon Center really quick. Because I also need to deposit some Pokemon. Uh, if we go to move, I got this guy. Tyruthless. With Metal Powder. Check this guy out. This guy is so cool. Uh, he's pure dark. Uh, that metal powder, I'll get him. I'll get that off him because I'm pretty sure that's a, a steel type uh, boost. Really high stats and kind of amp moves, but those stats are very good, as you can see. I got. I was actually like saying to myself, I was like, I'm tempted to put this on my team. To be honest, I am like mega tempted. But because he's like pure dark, I like that kind of got me out of it. But I would have loved putting this on my team for sure. Okay, but anyways, we gotta deposit some members. I don't know who to deposit. I guess the ones that have like lower stats, so like Cinder. Uh, yeah, I'd say Cinder. Uh, my starter, definitely. I need Kaw. We'll get rid of... Ugh. Medusa, I guess. Kind of stupid. I have to deposit, like, half my team to fight him. This thing's probably, like, level 60. Like, come on. Alright, so I got Luna, Xenomorph, and Ka. This is probably good enough. Never mind, I need Rock Smash. Alright, let's go ahead and run back. I forgot Rock Smash was on another Pokemon. Oh my gosh, this is slowing the game down to a crawl. Come on, stop it. Move. Okay. Who had strength? Was it you? Nope. Nope. None of you? Oh, Rock Smash, sorry. No, Rock Smash is my starter. Okay. So I need to deposit my starter. Or I need to deposit someone from a starter. Uh... Luna, maybe? Yeah, because this might be dark. I don't know. It's probably a dark type. Okay, I'll just bring Jaws. Actually, if it's a dark type, then, like, why would I bring my space type? Stop it. Thank you. Okay, then I'll bring Medusa. If I had to make a guess what type that thing is, it's probably like, I would guess Dark Dragon, but I don't know. Yeah, I had a forfeit flash, so this is going to be a pain to get through. Luckily, I kind of remember the layout. That's uh, this way. That's up. It's over here. Oh, I hate this already. Okay. Go over here. Can you move, please? Gosh, I hate NPCs sometimes. Please move.
Okay, there we go. That wasn't as bad as I thought that was going to be, but that was still not great. This should be a small enough party. Imagine if I can only have one Pokemon. That would be like an absolute joke. I have to get through here with that. Oh my gosh. I forgot I need Flash for here. Oh goodness gracious. This area is awful. Okay. It's better enough to see through this fog. Dude, this area sucks. <laughs> All right. So it's not over there. I, I went in the same spot twice. Come on, where is it? Repel. I want to go down here. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, not over there. Okay, so it's not over there. We've got to go back. That's a dead end. It's also a dead end. Please go down. Is that, why is that not letting me go down? Okay, Mr. Glitchy game. I, think I just went back to the start. I did not mean to do that. Okay, there we go, jeez. Okay, this was the straight way. And then the ladder's like right here. Yep. You know, I don't remember these areas being like a complete maze like this. Wow, that was nice. You went through the entire squiggle thing only to lead to a dead end. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go through my entire batch of repels. Might have to actually start encountering wild Pokemon. Dang it. Jeez, that was a pain. All right, is this good enough? What? Ellipsis. Okay, that was enough. Yo! Oh, 70, are you kidding me? Odorana. Oh, this is cool. Oh, nice. Dude, I like it. Level 70, dude, this thing is gonna sweep me. Oh gosh, how am I gonna do this? I don't even know what type it is. Solar Flare? What is this, Dragon Ball Z? Oh gosh, I barely do any damage. I should be able to catch it. Okay, that did just a ton of damage right there. Maybe it's fire type. Possible. Psychic? Jeez, that's got some insane type coverage. Yeah, of course he's an ex-Pokemon. We'll go ahead and go to uh, Jaws. I just need to cross out possibilities. I'm pretty sure it's Dragon, but let's see. Yep, it's Dragon. Okay. Good to know. 
Uh, what about crunch? Okay, so it's not dark. Is it pure dragon? That could be possible. It could be pure dragon. Jeez, that thing's a meat grinder. It's like hard to even survive this thing. This thing's sweeping me. Yeah, I only have one Pokemon left. Yeah, Dragon Breath. Jeez, that thing just does so much damage. Dang it, I killed it. I did not mean to kill it. Oh, goodness. I can already tell this is going to take, like, the entire episode to catch this thing. Yeah, we're catching it, so. I'm guessing, like, if you... It's when... The game asked me, uh, is Atlas a good guy or a bad guy? I'm guessing if you said that he's a good guy, you would get maybe the Chaos version? I don't know. I don't really get it. Okay, so Earthquake is literally my only option for this. Like, it's a struggle trying to hurt this thing. Okay, you know what? Let's let's start throwing Pokeballs at it. We're not using the Master Ball, that's for sure. No, we're using regular Ultra Balls. At least I know this is catchable, so... At least that's good to know. At least he's actually catchable. I actually know that he's... That he's actually possible to catch. Okay, well, that's good. Doing our Dragon Breath on it. Getting nice and low. There we go. Alright, that's probably good enough. Let's try a cut. Alright, there we go. Red health. That's exactly where I want it. Alright, Ultra Ball, and wish me luck. Do I have a max potion by any chance? Okay, I do. I can actually probably hurt it a bit more. Let's let's try another cut. Okay, yeah, perfect. I wanted to hurt it just a little more. Okay. Definitely have the safe state of use this for sure. And there goes Medusa. I don't think this is going to be as hard as Rock Lobster to catch, but this is certainly not going to be easy. Hasn't even shook in the Pokeball once. Come on, at least shake in the Pokeball once just so I know you're possible to catch without the Master Ball. Dang it. Gosh, this thing's got some bad catchability. And we, we died. Yeah, that thing's got some uh, very low catchability, which I'm not surprised because it's legendary, but jeez, that thing is stubborn. Okay. 
Okay, so we gotta immediately send Medusa out. This thing's tough. All right. So it merely starts off with uh, solar flare. Okay, got instantly paralyzed. Good. That's very good. Just keep bringing it down. Good. Cut. Perfect. Alright. You know what? I'll drop a save state right... Oh gosh, that's bad. I'll drop a save state right here. Just so I can keep loading it up over and over and over until it starts... Until it catches it. I just wanted to shake in the Pokeball once, just so I know it's actually possible to catch. Should be. Well, this has got like the worst catchability in the game, which definitely could be possible because this thing is not, yeah, it's not even shaking the Pokeball. Hasn't shook once. I'm not going to give up, though. We'll do this a few times. Uh, we'll do like a couple resets, and if it doesn't stay in the ball once, like if, if it doesn't even shake in the Pokeball, then I'm gonna jump into the conclusions that they developed this thing just so you you have to use the Master Ball. You like you have to. It probably has that kind of catchability or whatever. Because I know there is a way to actually mod that, where uh, you can make a Pokemon impossible to catch without a Master Ball. I've seen it. Yeah, look at this. It's just not even staying in. It got swept again. Like, this entire episode is literally just watching this thing just being the ever-living heck out of my team right now. So. We'll just swap between Great Ball and Ultra Ball. Medusa, die from burn. We'll do a few more resets. We'll do like three. And if it doesn't even shake in the Pokeball once, then we have to use the Master Ball. Yeah, then we just have to. It's gonna be the first Master Ball I ever use on screen. <laughs> Very first one, because I never used one in in uh, Light Platinum, and I never used one in Snakewood. No, I put up with the pain of catch abilities. That's the reason why it felt so good getting Rock Lobster. Yeah, because it looks like this thing's impossible to catch without the, uh, the Master Ball. Yeah, it, it looks like it's designed that you have to do it. 
Yeah, because it's not shaking the Pokeball once. And I've thrown a good, like, 40 Pokeballs at this thing. Well, not really 40. It's probably around, like, 20 at least. None of them have worked, so... Jeez. Yeah, this thing is just beyond powerful. But I don't want to use the Master Ball. Like, it seems like it's like forcing me to use it. that run. Man, this is worse than Rock Lobster in a way. Well, the fact that he's, uh, that this thing is actually just killing my team, like, incredibly fast. So... Kind of stupid I can't go, go into this with a full team. Like, dude, I need a full team for this. Two more times, two more resets, and then we'll uh, we'll throw throw the master ball at this thing. So it's, like it's got a really good move set. It's got what solar flare, safeguard, dragon claw, and uh, psychic. That's an insane move set. I have no clue what type uh, Solar Flare is. It, it's probably Fire. It's either Fire or Dragon. Actually, it could be Space. You never know. Who knows at this point? I'm just waiting for this thing to shake in the Pokeball at least once. Just to give me the indicator that this thing is possible to catch without the Master Ball. Half my health, jeez. This is the, what, last try? Alright, last try. Okay, goodbye Medusa. I have never seen a Pokemon with this low catchability in my life. Jeez. I thought Rock Lobster had low catchability, but at least with that, like I didn't 
I didn't have to use the master ball. This, it looks like I have to. Yeah, it hasn't shook once, and I've thrown my entire batch. Yeah, I've got to have thrown like at least 50, 50 Pokeballs at this time. And none of them have, like this has, this thing hasn't even shook once. Jeez Louise. It's just getting paralyzed over and over. Yeah, it's catchability's got to be zero percent. Either that or it's like, it's something like zero point zero 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 one. It's probably that. Yeah, I'll go with that. That's the catchability. It's it's that many zeros. Last Pokeball. And absolutely no shakes. Jeez. Yeah, it's impossible to catch without the, without the Master Ball. All right, well, you've convinced me. Well, first Master Ball on screen, it looks like. All right, let's use it. It just catches it like that. Wow, that that's just ridiculous. There it is. Odorana. A Pokemon whose genetic code was repeatedly repeatedly uh, rec recombined, recombined for research. It turned vicious as a result. I'm pretty sure it's the same as Mewtwo. Um... Oh my gosh, that sprite. I don't even know what to call this thing. Uh, I'm not even going to use it anyways. You know, I'll just keep it as Odorana. Oh, you can rematch it? Really? Okay, you can rematch the thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's interesting. So you can rematch it? That's kind of cool. I'm guessing that's for experience. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, because I selected, I think, I think I selected my recording. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Hello. My emulator crashed. <laughs> wow, great. Yeah, my emulator crashed. Oops. Yeah, I'm still recording, okay. Well, that sucks. Huh. <laughs> My emulator crash. That was a big crash. All right. All right. We're back. All right, Master Ball. Yep. 
Okay, so you can rematch this for um, what I'm guessing experience. That's kind of cool. I don't know why I would do that, but hey, that's interesting. I wonder how much experience it gives you. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, well, there we go. We got it. Let's look at it. Oops. It is pure dragon. Okay. Bashful. Interesting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised by that, but that is insane. Jeez, 243 health. Man, it's like old defense. Jeez Louise, that's a crazy one. Didn't I just call it with Solar Flare, by the way? <laughs> I literally said, it could be space type. There it is. I, I called it. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty funny. Well, cool. We got it. Odorana. Lovely. Huh. I like it. I shaved my head to use the, the Master Ball because that was the only way to catch it. But that is certainly really cool that I got it. So, what I'm guessing is I can farm experience there. That's kind of cool. I think that's probably why uh, it has that. Okay, well now it's at full health. I'm not going to use it. Let me just say, I'm not, I'm not going to use that thing. Nah, it's both uh, overpowered and it's a legendary. And you guys already know I don't like using legendaries on my playthroughs. Unless it's like Snakewood. Snakewood, I used what? I, I kind of used a legendary. I used a Celebi. But, I mean, that hatched from an egg. Like, that was completely out of my control. So... So I was like, you know what, may as well use it. And also because the game was getting really hard anyways, so. But other than that, like, Light Platinum, I never used one. Like, because the Legendary in that game was Altered uh, Giratina. Or Giratina. Yeah, that was the Legendary of the game, was Altered Giratina. So... interesting okay well we're done with that so what go to the next gym that'd be my guess is heading to the eighth gym that took absolutely forever right there all right deposit goodbye And let's grab my team. Cinder. Xenomorph. And Luna. You're back. This thing is cool though. And I love the design. I think it looks great. That is really awesome. Oh my gosh. So I'm guessing the other one. Which I believe was called Chaos Otra. Yeah. Chaos Otra. I'm pretty sure that's the other one. If... Uh, you go down the other path or whatever if you say that Atlas is a is good or is not a bad guy Then I'm pretty sure you probably get the chaos uh, Chaos one, but I got order so huh kind of interesting. I'm, I'm guessing either way you have to use a master ball it Does kind of suck that uh, I was forced to use that because it wouldn't it would uh it went and shaking the Pokeball once, and I did that almost, uh, I've had to, I've had to did that, like, at least, like, eight times. Yeah, I have to wait until eighth badge. Okay. But actually, we're not done yet, because I want to explore up here. 
I want to see what's up here really quick. Now that we got all this, uh, well, now that we got waterfall, let's actually start exploring. We're only going to be doing this for a little bit longer, but I want to at least explore a little bit. So that was what looks like a shortcut. Okay, well that's kind of cool. Let's just send out... I did not mean to do that. Let's just send out Luna. It is kind of interesting that I had to battle that thing with three Pokemon. May I ask why? I mean, you kind of just like, in a way, kind of wasted my time. You know, like the fact that I had to get out of the cave to deposit three Pokemon. Like you could have just reminded me that I had to, you know, deposit or, or I had to battle you with three Pokemon. Like, there was literally no indicator, but, yeah, there was literally no indication that I was, that I was supposed to have three Pokemon. So, that was kind of interesting. How's the fake war off? I did not mean to go in there. Please go down. Thank you. That's the wrong way, anyways. Alright, I was just getting lost in town right there. Okay, Super Repel. I'm actually running out right now. Thanks to that cave maze, but there you go, we got out. And we caught a pretty epic looking legendary, so that's also a plus. Man, I need max repels. Okay, we'll battle that gym in the next episode. I want to actually check what's over here. Okay, move. Thank you. What is this? Jeez Louise, Pokemon encounter rate and repels wearing off and stuff like that. Alright, go away, thank you. <sighs> Dude, really? Just ricocheted off the waterfall there. Yep. Yes. Okay, what is this? Besides another Pokemon. Go away, Night Aid. Thank you. Okay, what is this? More, more cave. Well, it's a good thing I have this. Oh gosh, this looks like a maze. Uh, huh, this doesn't look good. I want to drop, yeah, you know what? Drop a save state really quick, just in case I get lost. This does not look good. 
Oh my gosh, this is reminding me of the Matteo cave. Oh my gosh. This is extreme deja vu. Oh my gosh, I don't like this already. <laughs> Dude, this is awful. Why? Oh my gosh, this is totally a complete snake wood thing. Totally not a reference to Snakewood, right here. What, this one maybe? Uh, I would guess that one. It has to be this one. No, I can't go over there. Is this a dead end? Uh, seems like it, yep. Okay, gotta go back. Okay, so we can't go up or down, so we have to go back, actually way back. Let's try, can't go that one. Uh, okay, we can go this one. Okay, nothing over there, nothing down there. It seems like the only ladder that I have access to is this one down here. Might have to do this next episode, to be honest. Because I really don't want to mess with this. What the heck is that? Uh, I don't know, but maybe it's a Pokemon? What is this? You must defeat both legendary dragons before you fight me. Interesting. Hidden chasm. Where the heck did I just go? Secluded entrance, okay. Oh, I'm here, okay. Oh, I'm guessing I have to beat Chaos Otra as well. Cause I only have Odorana. Oh, okay, so that's probably like a post game thing. Oh gosh, wish me luck trying to get through there again. That's gonna be pure pain. All right, well, there we go. That is actually very cool. So we found whatever the heck that is, but that's totally the Matteo cave. All right, let's stand right here and drop the last day state. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was quite a bit of fun. Got a lot done. Um, We got Odorana. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then we went through the supposed, well, I'm going to call it the Madio Cave Part 2. Or uh, Madio Cave V2. Because that is basically the Madio Cave, what that was. It, was. it wasn't that hard, but I mean, partially why that wasn't that hard is because practicing through the Madio Cave for hours straight, uh, really does help so there you go actually that's partially why that video uh that mad uk video went so well and went so clean because i had to constantly practice that over and over and over and over until i got got it right so that's that's uh mainly that's that's mainly why it looks good so and that apparently well looks like it helps it, yeah, it looks like it actually helped with that, but there you go. So, I'll see you on the next video, which will be in about, probably about a half hour. 
If not, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of don't really feel like recording again. It, yeah, this might be just another single episode. But if I have the energy, I may record uh, another video. But if I don't, then I will record tomorrow. So, And I'll guarantee two videos tomorrow. So yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.